Hello, I'm Kimon Francis. Everton McFarlane has resigned as Executive Director of the Financial Services Commission, FSC, just days after the Glena exposed an FSC report that questioned the regulator's oversight of fraud hit Stocks and Securities Limited. The Bank of Jamaica's Chief Prudential Officer Major Caron Burrell will act in the position. Meanwhile, attorney Linton Gordon has sent a letter to the FSC accusing the regulatory body of playing a role in the 12 million US dollar loss that his client, Sprint legend Usain Bolt, suffered in the recently discovered SSL fraud. The letter said that the regulatory body is liable and failed to perform its duty in accordance with the FSC Act. The Manchester police are currently probing the shooting death of a man who was visiting from England. 48-year-old Michael Brown of Miketown District, Manchester, and Waterford, England, was pounced upon by gunmen at his home in Manchester. A taxi driver who is accused of murdering two American missionaries in St. Mary in 2016 was on Thursday remanded and is to return to the Home Circuit Court on Monday. The 34-year-old defendant, Andre Thomas, is charged with the murders of 48-year-old Randy Hensel and 53-year-old Harold Nichols. In sports, Cristiano Ronaldo scored twice in his first game in Saudi Arabia and Lionel Messi was also on the score sheet as Paris Saint-Germain edged a Riyadh All-Star 11-5-4 in a thrilling contest. In your currency trading at midday today, one US dollar was being sold for $154.22, the British pound a sterling for $190.54 and the Canadian dollar for $115.11. In your weather forecast on Friday morning, it will be mainly sunny. In the afternoon, expect partly cloudy skies. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. Remember to follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. And like, comment and share on YouTube. I'm Kimon Francis.